in the previous of the tutorial we learned to log in admin to the dashboard and now in this part of the dashboard we will try to implement this dashboard to our app so first thing is to go to the description and download the bus with the dashboard this dashboard is free to use and you need to create it with auto so after downloading the password you the, the, the dashboard you need to extract it and you will get this folder structure and you need just to open the blank page for html but first thing to do is to go to here and copy all of the contents here all of the folder and navigate to our pro to your project and pass them in the asset folder so now let's think how we will implement this if we put all of it in the asset folder it will not be good because we want to have some different design for the admin dash dashboard and the customer dashboard so let's go to dashboard asset and create a new folder for the admin asset so let's say that asset and let's call it create a new folder that you call admin and now let me open this one here and let me drag all of this and pass in the admin folder that i have created in the asset it will take some time and after a while it will end let's wait until it's done and now when it's done you will get the ad in the admin folder we have both draft css gs and the asset we will have our basic css okay good so next thing to do is to go to the folder and open the file blank html and you will fall on this blank page so the thing that you want to have is to press ctrl u and you will get the code source and when you get the source code the first thing that i recommend you is to copy all of this and go to go to and now go to your index php in the admin view let's say that index php in the admin view and first thing let's remove this one and pass all of the content that we've copied and now try to log in as admin again and you will get on a broken design that we will fix later and the password was one two three and check log as admin and click login okay you will fall on a dashboard like this because we haven't implement we haven't linked with css so let's go on the top here and let's go on the top on the top of the page and let's start implementing the css uh, the first thing to implement is the css so let's go now is not the same address let's say now is asset what were we what we want asset no let me just duplicate this to not broken the design and on the second we want to have this we want to have this and after the asset folder we want to have the admins and now we want to have a css and we still the main if it's still css let's remove this one okay now let's preview we will get this loading screen appear okay we are on the way so let's continue our sti and the next thing to implement is the plugin let's see that is the asset admins and after this is this one so let's copy all of this because we, we need this one we don't need all of this and let's go where we have some input is not here is not here we clean this later not here okay on the bottom of the page 
let's pass this one here let's pass this one and let's pass this one and let's pass here here too and here too and now if we come back here and we refresh we will fall on this playing admin palette which appear and it's a broken design but we need to fix it or make for fix it let's go to the top we forget to, to import something here the link is this one and i think all is done let's check oh no all are not done we forget something hmm what's wrong let's let's remove this echo right now we check okay so we have the same with the same design you can say like this so we have the same design and it's good and for make some correction we don't need all of the icon to the left side we need just a dashboard your profile and we will we will leave a basic table and we will delete all of it so let's research basic table and after the basic table let's say we don't need all of this we want to delete all why not we delete this and it's not here it's here that we have our preview okay we have dashboard profile basis table and the user image doesn't appear we will fix it later we don't need it in this tutorial so we will have a dashboard with profile and the basics table we will use it and where we have a basics table is let's say that we have cars and here we list all cards all cards that are available for customer no it's not we don't save it we just need to refresh we have some case so the icon was far far cars or not okay we have far far car for, for list all available card that we have and here we have some purple to open to mode some mode to open to list the card and now it, it will redirect to card.php but we need to make i want to make some structure hmm, let me see how can make how i can make this structure to make to, to make it better to see Let's see that in the admin folder we will create a new folder that we call include. And in this equal folder we create one folder that we call header PHP and let's create another folder that we call footer PHP. And now let's go back to the default now let's close let's go back to the input and let's deal how where we get the blank page before we get the blank page okay before we get the blank page before we prepare breadcrumb we need to go to all of this i'm going to put in in the header include okay now let's put it in the header include and after the blank page the footer we are we put some footer yes we have some footer and let's say that we have a blank page here too We close this one to make it better to see this one is closed this one is closed okay this 
and all of this are the footer and let's take the footer and pass it in the footer section and now when you refresh you will get this one okay let's come back to the default input and here let's try something let's say that you want to include the same directory is include and it's either okay we, we include the header right we do the same thing for the footer sorry footer let me go bottom and here is not header now bottom here is a footer that we want to include and if you refresh right now we get the same design okay so we need you to make to delete some unnecessary comments to make it better to see and this one will be the content And this one will be the content of the page and we have included the header and include the footer and we have this design and this one will be the, the content good